Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, another Windows 10 build. I finally got the build 14.3.16. Uh, this build is the one that uh, Windows uh, integrated Ubuntu with their operating system. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get that. First of all, you got to be part of the Developer Insider Preview Program. Uh, get the latest and greatest 14.3.16. If you are part of the program and you don't get the build like I did, because it took me a while for me to get the build, you want to go inside your notification, go to all settings, uh, updates and security. A lot of people are saying make sure that you're on the developer mode, but for me, once I switched it to Windows Store apps, that's when the build appeared for me and I was able to update my machine. So how do we get the Ubuntu integrated to our Windows uh, 10 machine? Automatically, it's not turned on, so we have to turn it on. So I'm going to go into Cortana, and I'm going to tell Cortana to locate Windows Features. And Windows Features are actually located in the control panel, so let's click on that. And the option that we want is the one that says, all the way to the bottom, Windows Subsystem for Linux Beta. So let's check that off and click OK. It's going to search for all the required features and files. It's going to apply the changes. And then once it's done, you're going to do a restart. So let's restart our machine. Okay, so it finally rebooted. So let's click on uh, our screen and let's log in. I'm going to log into my machine. So once you log into your desktop, what we want to do is open up a command prompt. So I'm going to right click on the start menu and I'm going to do a command prompt with admin and I'm gonna click yes okay so within command prompt what we want to do is type in bash and hit enter and what's gonna happen is the beta feature this will install Ubuntu on Windows and uh, yeah we let's type in Y hit enter it's gonna download what it needs within the Windows Store now this is a little strange you would think when we turn on the feature within the control panel that I will automatically install it for us. No, you have to do an extra step. You actually got to go inside the command prompt, type in bash. It looks like that command is going to go inside the Windows Store and install what it needs for us to run Ubuntu within Windows 10. All right, so everything is completed. Uh, caught a little hiccup right here. It looks like it failed in creating a shortcut, but it's OK. Uh, but it looks like we are in, so that means I could do it LS command and ls command will actually give me everything wow this is pretty awesome and that's it guys that is how we integrate ubuntu within the latest windows 10 pro insider preview build which is actually build 14.3.16 if you are testing this feature out what are your thoughts for people out there that are linux lovers to the end what are your thoughts on Microsoft integrating this stuff inside their system. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Leave your comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.